to that long list of formerly overlooked vegetables that are finally getting their moment in the sun. Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, now you can add cauliflower. The thing about cauliflower is it's really got kind of a split personality for cooks. If you cook it briefly, it's got a really aggressive flavor that can stand up to really strong ingredients like olives and anchovies and garlic. Cook it longer and it really mellows out and sweetens and becomes really, really rich. There's three main things that you want to look for when you're buying cauliflower. The first is that you want the heads to be really compact and really tightly closed. You don't want any sign that they're breaking apart. You don't want any soft spots on the top here. Cauliflower is pretty hearty, but once it starts to break down, it goes quickly. Finally, look for any brown spots. That's sunburn where the cauliflower is exposed, and that's going to break down quickly too. There's all different kinds of ways you can cook a cauliflower. One of my favorites is absolutely easy. It's roasting it. It comes out really sweet and caramely. Prepping cauliflower is really easy too. Just pull off these outer big leaves and then cut around the stem. And then you can just separate them into florets with your hands. Now to roast them, add a little bit of olive oil. Salt, and then toss them right on the pan. And then finally, just roast them at 400 degrees until they're golden and tender. It'll take about 25 to 30 minutes.